Welcome to the world. Get the music turned off. Okay, everybody, welcome. Um, we're back to the Disney series. Yesterday, well, last video, we did the Queen of Hearts. Today, we're going to do the White Rabbit. Fun fact, I don't really have any grays in all of my reference pictures. Show him mostly white and red and gray. I do have some kind of whitish colors, but not a lot, so I'm going to go with reds and taupes with a little bit of blue. Because sometimes his pants look gray, some pictures his pants look blue, but I've been doing a whole lot of blue lately, so I don't want to do more blue. So we're going to go ahead and do the red, which is predominantly in quite a few of his spots. We're going to use a little bit of gold because his horn is gold, Hello, as well as his uh, waistcoat is gold. And then we're going to do the taupes in place of the grays, and we're going to use those for our transition shade. So we're going to go ahead and grab a little brush and get started as soon as I find the brush I want. And eye crease brush, you know, I swear Mary Kay has more eye crease brushes than most people I know. Um, we're going to go in with the Starlet palette as well as the Ruby's palette again from Profusion. And we're going to go in with Uproar. And maybe a little bit of, I think that is kindly. And we're going to use those in place of the grays because, like I said, I don't have gray. And we're just dipping my brush in both of them and taking that into a crease. And we're going to attempt to do this really quickly. Because I feel like the White Rabbit should be a relatively simple look. And so we're going to hope it turns out that way. And then we're going to use a bit of slippers on the lid. All over the lid. Just to kind of lighten up the taupey shade. Take it up into the crease. And again, we're just using the same brush because I think this might be one of those one brush looks. And then I think, because he's a very vibrant red, but I don't know if I want to use, uh, yeah, we're going to use a little bit of rouge and a little bit of ruby. We're just going to concentrate it to the outer corner of the eye. Not quite as dark and dramatic as yesterday. Just a little bit. About the outer third. And then we're going to use our eye crease, blend it a bit. Just along the top though. Add a little bit more taupe. And a blend it with the brush we just used for the red. Because we don't really want to lose the taupe, but we don't want to lose the red either. So we're trying to get them married nicely. Okay. And then we're going to use a little bit of burst on the inner. Not too, too gold, so it still kind of works with the mustardy color of his waistcoat, but gold enough to be a gold gold for his horn. And we're going to take a little bit of Dazzle from the Ruby palette to kind of marry them in the middle. And then we're going to use our 
perfusion fluver and just go right along the top there to kind of soften the top of that just a bit. Which picked up some pigment, but that's okay. And then we're going to use Serenity for under our brow bone. Just going to give it a good little swirl and go right over the top of that, which will actually help diffuse that out a bit. And then I think just for a little bit of fun, because why not? We're going to go ahead and use this brush and a little bit of Stardust and a little bit of Glitz just to give me a little bit of glitter. Ooh, or do I want to use Nightlight? We'll just use them all. A little bit of nightlight. A little bit of glitz. A little bit of stardust. Just kind of pat it over the gold. Because why not? I know it's going to be a nightmare to remove, but it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I can't help it. Apparently, I naturally want to be covered in glitter. But I mean, who doesn't? We're going to take a little bit of bling, which is a shimmer powder, just to kind of add a little pop just because I feel like we need a little extra. I mean, I'm a little extra, but hey, there we go. There we go. Okay. I'm going to pop off, do eyeliner, eyebrows, foundation, contour, and I'll be back for blush and to decide on my lip ink. Okay, guys, I'm back. I did my contour, my sculpt, there goes my French on my eyebrows and my eyeliner um, and my lashes. I wanted to keep a very natural lash with this. If I get close enough, you can kind of see that I did like a little bitty bunny eyeliner because I thought it would be cute or a bunny ear liner. Now I'm about to do blush. I'm using uh, Darling Pink from Mary Kay Karma Fusion Blushes. Again, all of the products that I use are going to be listed in the description down below. So we're going to put on a little bit of blush, not too much, just a little bit. I mean, granted, my version of just a little bit and everybody else's version of just a little bit are probably vastly different. Because I like to be extra. Because why not? Okay, perfect. And then we're going with a white highlighter. Uh, we're using the LA Colors Glow Time because it is the whitest highlighter I have. Um, and use the White Rabbit. We'll use a whole bunch of it. Because why not? And then we're just going to brush off some of the extra pigment off of my brush and make sure we're blending. Voila. All right. So last step as I stab my nail into my highlighter is going to be our lippy and I'm trying out a different color of the lippy that I used for the Absalom. I'm going to go with a lighter pink because it's a lighter pink. We're using the pink glitter version of that and it is in the color 
cherry quartz. It's supposed to dry down really pink. So we will see because his eyes are like super pink and I really wanted to have that accent. So two seconds. Okay, you guys. So that is the look. That lip definitely turned out a lot redder than I expected because according to the packaging, it's supposed to dry down pink. Because see, to my understanding, that's supposed to be, uh, that's supposed to be what it is when it's wet and that's supposed to be what it is when it's dry. If I'm understanding correctly. Because that's what the purple one did, is it dried down to the purple. Hmm. I mean, it's a pretty color. It's definitely super glittery. I'm just... Well, I guess the glitter itself is pink. I don't know. We'll see how I feel about it as the day goes on. It's definitely a low transfer. Lip, which I love. Because I like my makeup to stay on my face. So now, finishing spray. Ta-da! And that's it. So we're running out of characters, guys. We still have the March hair and then definitely Tweedledee and Tweedledum to do. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do Dodo or not yet because he's kind of an important character. But at the same time, he's kind of not. He's like one of the first characters that she interacts other than the door. Um... But like beyond that, he's not really in there a whole lot. I'm going to check with some of my friends, see what they think, decide, watch, probably watch the movie again and decide how much I really want to do them um, as a character in the series or if I want to just kind of move on to the next movie. Part of me thinks I'm going to keep doing looks because I honestly don't know what movie I want to do next. So we'll find out. On that note, thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. It was wonderful chatting with you. I hope you had a good time. I really like the way this eye look turned out. It's definitely a little more subtle, but it's really pretty. Um, I hope you guys decide to stick around for the rest of it. If you want to see any of the others, I will link the playlist somewhere up here. <laughs> uh, you can also just go to my page and check it out. It's going to be under the Disney makeups playlist. So on that note, take a, since I watched Jumper's New Groove last night, take a sippy sippy of your sip stuff. Remember, be the change you want to see in the world. Be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself. And as always, especially right about now in the world, a smile is infectious. I'll see you guys later. Bye.